All right, everybody, welcome back to another Two Minute Critique. Let's get it on. So, are you guys going absolute stir crazy right now? Because I know I am. I want to be out. I want to be shooting. I want to be doing things. Uh, not in lockdown anymore. So, uh, hopefully you guys are holding up strong and... Uh, uh, ready to turn things back on. But until then, let's get to our two minute critiques. You know how it works. We're gonna learn from the mistakes of others. So it's honest feedback uh, for you to improve as a photographer uh, and uh, take your photography to the next level. If you're the maker, if you wanna submit, make sure you submit. The link's below in the description. Um, send us your images, team will look at them and uh, give them to me uh, for critique. And by the way, don't even know if you know this, I don't really look at the images before I sit down. So a lot of times, most of the time, I should say, uh, this is my first time seeing it. Uh, uh, so I think that's a good thing. You're getting that kind of raw reaction to it. There was like no prep time on what to do. So give me that clock. You got the clock? Two minutes, put it up. All right, first image up. Uh, this is uh, obviously a, a composite of sorts. Um, what's that movie? What's the, you remember the movie? It was like on the video game and the guy's like jumping off the rooftop and he's got a sword and he goes back in time. What is the movie? I don't know. It's Creed. Creed. It is Creed. How did you remember that? Yeah. No, it's Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. It was not a terrible movie. It was a good movie. All right. This is very Assassin's Creed look. Maybe that's what you were going for. All right. Let's get to it. How do we make this image better? First thing jumping out at me is, um, well, let's look at it. The texture on the background, personal opinion, uh, I feel like the texture is a bit heavy, is too heavy. Hmm. Let me restate, too prominent. Maybe that's a better word for it. Meaning, I wanna see that texture softened a little bit, right? Let's blur it out a little bit. So you can apply a little uh, Gaussian blur to it. Did I say that right? Is it Gaussian blur? Gaussian blur? Gaussian? I don't think that's right. Gaussian? Gaussian? Who made up that word? Why can't they just say blur? Anyway, add some blur. We can add some blur to the background. By the way, there's no chance we're gonna be done in two minutes. We can add some blur to the background, soften that background, and what's gonna allow the, this uh, to happen is this person will pop off. Here, here we go, let's do this, all right? Just so we can do it. Um, I know, it, we're, we're gonna, pretty soon this is gonna turn into a Photoshop uh, lesson. All right, no, we're, not, we're off those 30 seconds. All right, let's add just a little bit of blur uh, to the overall image, and right now what you're seeing is I'm blurring the entire image, right? Uh, and then I'm just gonna add a little layer mask here, invert that. I'm not teaching you Photoshop here. I'm just trying to explain to you what we're doing. And then I'm just going to brush in that background and it's going to be very rough brush in. I'm just trying to get you guys to um, see what I'm talking about here. So now by blurring this a little bit, timer doesn't count. Timer doesn't count. Timer's just going to keep rolling. So now what you're seeing here uh, is a little bit of how we've softened that. Again, it's very sloppy. Don't judge my Photoshop, Scott. I can, I can hear you judging me right now, so knock it off. Um, I'm just trying to show you this on and off, how now, and you can control this now, right? So we can adjust the opacity uh, so that it's not as heavy handed, but that's what I'm trying to show you. Soften that background. I don't wanna see that background as prominent. Uh, one other thing that can make this uh, image better, this headpiece here is just too bright. Right, so I'm just gonna, again, quick lasso on that, add a curves layer, pull that down just a little bit. Right, and you're gonna have to play with that, but you, you see where I'm going here. Uh, I just wanna start getting this uh, down into shadows because I wanna be able to get right to those eyes, right? So. You gotta be less sloppy. Same with the hands, same with the body. Let that face, right? If, we, if this is Assassin's Creed or anything like that, dude, it's about the eyes. Get me to the eyes. That's the powerful. That's what's gonna make this image amazing. All right. Let's get back on schedule. All right, give me the next timer. Beautiful. Fashion portrait. A um, little too old for a senior portrait probably, uh, but I love it. I love the pose. I think it's fun. It's different. Um, I love the expression. I love the way she's making eye contact with the camera, but right. How do we make this better? And if we put our grid up here, right? Rule of thirds. 
right? What I like that I'm seeing is that even though her eyes are in that top third, that's what you're seeing, uh, it's a bit of a distraction, this foreground. The foreground is not helping this image at all. It is completely useless in this particular image. I think this type of image would be much better square and now she's jumping into a bullseye um, composition, but I like that. I think that's it. I don't have to overdo this image. There's, it's a beautiful image. You did a great job. I love the, uh, I love the black and white. I love the editing. I love the shallow depth of field. I mean, you did a lot of great stuff. So take note, bravo, brava. I don't know, guy or girl, bravo, brava, works. You don't disclose that information. I don't know this kind of stuff. It's blind, it's blind. All right, so that would make this image much stronger, my opinion. Okay, and plus it's ready for the gram. Who doesn't want an image on the gram? The gram, does anybody say that? I think they do. No, I think you can call it the gram. It's online. It's absolutely, you can, the gram, the gram. All right, next image, give me the two minutes. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this. So the first thing I'm noticing here is this is just way over-processed, guys. So whoever did this to the maker, it's over-processed. Dial back the sharpening. We've gone crazy on sharpening. There's just too much sharpening. And what it's doing to the skin, I don't know if you were trying to do that HD, uh, give it an HDR look, maybe you were, maybe you weren't, I don't know. Uh, but it's just, you're, you're making the skin look horrible. Um, and so I think it was just over sharpened, but you may have been wanting to go for an HDR look. There's other tools uh, that are there. Let's take that off the table. Let's keep di digging into the image. Quite frankly, um, I like the gray background. I like the texture. Um, I like the lighting. Did a good job with lighting, right? So we've got a key light here giving us some Rembrandt lighting, well done. Uh, and then we've got a, uh, an edge light separating them from the background, giving us a little bit of light. Uh, on the shoulder, if we go look at this right here. Draw this for you. So we're seeing a little bit of this edge light here and here. That's a great job uh, that we're wanting. So really where we went wrong in this uh, is with this the editing in the post-production. Now, I will tell you something I'm not digging on this, right, is the blue shirt. For whatever reason, just it just doesn't feel like a portrait. I don't know why. Uh, so I don't know if anybody else feels like that. And finally, composition. So we've got a couple of problems here with composition. As you can see, the beard, right, is being cut off at the bottom and just the little tippy top of his head is being cut off as well. Hey man, if we're gonna crop, let's crop. Let's commit to the crop, uh, either cropping in or giving a little bit more breathing room there, especially for that beard. What I would have rather seen on the crop is I would have liked to have come down in here, right, and now have more of that beard down below, that would have felt better. And maybe a portrait like this is vertical. All right, last image, gotta get on it. She's on me today. All right, final image. All right, so let's look at this. Uh, love the, uh, this is clearly a stylized shoot. Uh, very, very uh, nice what we're going for. Very nice color palette, peacock feathers. Can't go wrong with that kind of stuff. Um, but same thing, close your eyes. Everybody close them, open them, where are you going? First place I'm going is right in here. Uh, and that's a problem, that is not where we wanna go uh, for this, right? So uh, what I think has to happen, if you, you know, if you cover that spot, try this, this is a way to do it. Put your hand up and just kinda cover that spot, her chest, right? Just a little bit of that chest, don't cover the whole image, just that chest. Do you see how quickly you get to her eyes? That's the trick. You do it, it'll help you in your post-production uh, ways. Now, I will give you a little critique here as I zoom in on the image. Um, we've over-softened it, right? And the way I know that, believe it or not, right, because you could have shot this in a shallow depth of field. Um, you could have a great makeup artist, but the telltale sign is when I get to the arms and hands, uh, they just look like uh, complete mush, right? So it's just been over-softened. Uh, so you may wanna just consider that as well, um, and then I'm gonna do something, watch it, it's gonna be really bad, don't get mad at me. I'm, I'm just showing you what could be done. So I'm just stamping, see these gaps up here? These gaps are pointless. 
There, there's nothing there. So we either have to crop in, which then we lose the magnificence of the peacock feathers, or I'm gonna show you what we can do, and this is not the method to do it, don't do what I do, right? But here's what we can end up doing here. We can, um, right, just clone stamp this. And th like I said, this is not the way to do it. But you're going to get the sense of what I'm talking about if you do it right. That's it for time. But hold on. We got to do it. I just want you guys to get a sense, right? It's going to start looking like a repeating pattern. But you're getting the sense of what I'm trying to do. Okay, if you look at this image now, you see how that is filling the shot. I would do the same thing on the bottom, under the arms, and under the hand, uh, because then I'm just looking at this wall of peacock feathers versus seeing those black corners that aren't allowing me to get into the image. But of course, we would spend time, not gonna do it in two minutes, and Photoshop that right. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed it, learned something from this, I really do. Give me a shout out down in the comments, let me know what you think. Subscribe to our channel uh, and sign up for updates. We're gonna have new videos every week. I hope you guys are loving them. We'll see you on the next one.